You had me at the title of your first chapter, where you said, racism is a heart disease and it's curable. We have to do something fundamentally different than what we've been doing, and that requires that we slow down and look at how we got here. And the truth will set us free. <laughs> but it'll first piss you off. Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> and maybe it may piss off a few other people, too. The meditation process supports a certain composting of the distress so that we end up with some rich soil right. in the end. But what the composting process is really our capacity to bear witness to the distress and to befriend it. We can be with our thoughts instead of being our thoughts, and that's a real important shift that's a, that's when we're a, working with distress, racial distress. Right. Let's just go back to the, I don't see color. That yeah. is one way to piss off. Pretty instantly, I think. Any, any person of color, <laughs> that's right? That's right. The dynamic of oppression, dominance, and subordination in our country is real. Mm -hmm. So people of color come to the conversation with a real understanding of being subordinated by dominant white culture as a collective, but white individuals don't see that collective dynamic. They see themselves as just good people. I read the last passage in this book, mm -hmm. which just cracked me open, and I would love for you to help close this conversation by reading it. Ah, it would be my pleasure. May we understand and transform racial habits of harm. May we remember that we belong to each other. May we grow in our awareness that what we do can help or hinder racial well-being. And may we meet the racial cries of the world with as much wisdom and grace as we can muster. I've never cried in an interview yet. <laughs> but there's a first for oh, everything. Oh, is there a first? Oh. <laughs>